Today we're going to uh, demonstrate the use of the uh, European style of hinge and we're going to be using the bloom hinge for this video. Uh, 30 or 40 years ago uh, in the cabinet industry you would not have seen likely, most likely not have seen a cabinet builder building cabinets with European hinges. But today if you go to a cabinet shop you're going to see uh, very few cabinet shops that don't use European style hinges. So this is a, an important hinge to consider. Bloom has uh, several cabinet angle openings, 107, they have 110, 120, 170, 155, a whole bunch of different uh, cabinet opening uh, profiles. Today we're discussing only the 110 degree hinge. The 110 degree hinge comes with a straight arm profile like this one. Um, this is the hinge that will provide you the most in overlay. Uh, they have a, a hinge profile which is the half overlay, half cranked, and it's for uh, partial overlays. Doesn't give you as much overlay as you can get with a straight arm. And then uh, there is the hinge profile uh, which they call a full crank or an inset and it's almost exclusively used for inset uh, applications. Every European hinge uh, has a, a hinge cup like you see here. This is the cup. It, you have to drill a hole in the door. Uh, let me give you a, an example. There, there's a, uh, there's a hole that you drill in the door to receive the hinge cup. Um, and then um, besides the hinge cup there's the hinge arm and every European style hinge has a mounting plate. So uh, hinge arm, hinge cup, and a mounting plate. These are the mounting plates that are used with uh, European uh, hinges. So this hinge uh, will actually attach to any one of these mounting plates. Um, notice this, this is uh, the series of mounting plates that would, you would use on a frameless cabinet like this one. Uh, they come in various uh, thicknesses, they have a zero. Now the zero means uh, with respect to these hinges that uh, it will have absolutely no effect on the overlay of the door. Now there's a three and what a three millimeter thick mounting plate will do is reduce your overlay by three millimeters. The six millimeter plate reduces your overlay by six, reduces by nine and 18 and so on. So that is the, the uh, frameless cabinet series of hinge mounting plates. Now over here is the face frame uh, series of mounting plates. Now I, I use them interchangeably. I, I will use these plates on frameless cabinets like this, but they were designed for, for face frame cabinets like this one. Uh, this is a zero mounting plate. You can use it interchangeably with this mounting plate. It has the same effect with the hinge. So the European hinge mounts on this and this zero plate has no effect on the overlay. The three millimeter plate will reduce your overlay by three reduces by 4.5 and 6 and so on. So the face frame series of mounting plates and the frameless cabinet series of mounting plates. So let's get right at it. How versatile is this uh, Bloom straight arm hinge and uh, what can we accomplish with it? First uh, let's take a look at what we can do with a zero mounting plate like the one right in here. These are both zero mounting plates and we're going to do it use it with a straight arm hinge. I'm, I'm going to uh, clip the hinge on here. This is the straight arm hinge uh, uh, clipped onto the zero plate. And then I'm going to close the hinge. It's so cold in here the hinge doesn't want to go shut. I'm going to shut the uh, I'm going to shut the soft close off. So now we're using a zero mounting plate, a straight arm 110 degree hinge, and you'll notice here that the hinge cup itself is overlaying uh, 
uh, the front f f front edge of the cabinet, the face of the cabinet. The amount that the hinge cup overlays the face of the cabinet is called the fixed distance. And on a straight arm uh, bloom hinge in 110 degree, uh, the fixed distance is 11 millimeters. So now when we add a door to that, we have to consider let me just use this uh, as a sample here. We have to consider the boring distance, the distance from the uh, edge of the door to the edge of the cup. And, and in our sample door, we've got six millimeters there on this boring distance. And so that means with uh, a uh, 11 millimeter fixed distance and a six millimeter boring distance, we're gonna have a 17 millimeter overlay. Let's attach our straight arm hinges to our cabinet door. And then we'll attach the cabinet door to the cabinet. And that gives us a 17 millimeter overlay on our, on our cabinet. And our cabinet is three quarters of an inch uh, thick or 19 millimeters thick for the side panels. And that means we have a two millimeter reveal. What I'm going to do here is substitute a zero millimeter um, face frame mounting plate. I like to use I like to use these plates because um, if you don't have the uh, equipment to do the line boring like you see in here, then these plates really make it easy. Everything lines up uh, very nice uh, because the face frame mounting plate has little tabs on it and you pretty much can't get it wrong. There. My goal here is just to show you that they are you can use that face frame mounting plate with the same results on your door. You get that uh, two millimeter reveal and a 17 millimeter overlay on 19 millimeter uh, thick uh, cabinet sides. Uh, we have accomplished with the Bloom 110 degree straight arm hinge and a zero mounting plate and we have accomplished a 17 millimeter overlay. Uh, the straight arm hinge has an 11 millimeter fixed distance and our boring distance was 6, so 11 plus 6 gives us a 17 millimeter overlay. And on our 3 quarter inch uh, cabinet side panels, that leaves us a 2 millimeter reveal. That's a pretty good application. Now next, our next video, um, the, it is going to show us how to get a 1 half inch overlay, or really close. And um, We'll do that two different ways, uh, with a three millimeter plate and with a four and a half millimeter plate. And then with a straight arm hinge, we're going to do an inset door. So look forward to that. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, do the thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe.